In a previous video, I demonstrated how to create a crib wall using the railing tool. In this video, we look at how to create this using an alternative method, and that is using the curtain wall pattern tools. Here you can see the two systems side by side, the railing system on the right and the pattern system on the left. Presentation wise, they don't look that different. However, when it comes to efficiency and the time that it takes to build and edit, the difference is much larger. Now, let me show you how I built this crib wall using the curtain wall pattern families. Start by exporting the topo surface from the project in CAD format, then insert this into a massing family. Add some sections to ensure that the import is aligned along the Z axis. Then you can use this view to determine the slope angle of the mass. Here, create a profile using the slope angle. This profile should be hosted to the reference line path, which you can determine from the floor plan view. Once all of that is done, the pattern family can be applied to the solid extrusion. In this example, I have called the pattern family, Family 1. This is what it looks like in 3D view. It's actually really simple and efficient, and it all comes down to building a good pattern family. Here, I have essentially modelled the runners and the headers as simple extrusions. There is no point embellishing this. Then, leave the right and bottom sides open so that the pattern can be repeated without any overlap. To apply the family, simply add a divided surface to the solid extrusion. Then, set out the grid. This is where this system excels. The setout can be easily tweaked using these parametric controls for V and U grids. Let me show you an example. Once you are satisfied with your edits, reload into project. When the host mass family is loaded, you can find the family details here on the project browser. First, the host family is listed under the massing category. And then the nested pattern family, which is listed under the curtain panels category. To place the family, ensure the massing category is turned on and then right click and select create instance. Here in 3D view, I can point out another key advantage to this method, clean joints. Here are the two systems side by side, the railing system on the right and the pattern system on the left. The railing system is a lot more complex to build and edit, but it's much easier to place. All you need is to draw a line in the active railing sketch mode. If you would like to learn how to build this crib wall using the railing method, then watch this video. I have added the link to the comments section. The downside to the massing method is that it uses the massing category. That's not exactly a bad thing, some just find it a little messy, and they find that the family is a bit heavy. All of that of course can be managed. Let me know in the comments which system you think is best, and I look forward to hearing from you. Well that's the end of the tutorial, I hope that you found it interesting and that you learned something new. Remember to like, comment and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.